Guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be finishing up the expedition. We're going to be putting in the AC, uh, thir thir like some kind of valve thing that goes in the AC. I forgot what it's called, but it goes in the uh, back of the car and it controls the AC to open and close it. So it's basically like a valve, valve motor. So that, because the, the accident, I'm assuming it got stripped. So I got a brand new one. And I'm going to put that in the seatbelts back from the rebuild uh, place, the safety store. So we're going to put that in. Uh, put in all the trim pieces, you know, screw everything up, uh, pop all the clips in, and then we're gonna give the car a nice wash, clean the interior and exterior, and then um, and it's done, hundred percent. Uh, besides that little front end bumper, whenever I decide I'm gonna get it, because since I already have a bumper for it from an older model, don't really see the point of getting the newer style one, even though that one fits. But whenever the prices do drop on those bumpers, because they're like fifteen hundred dollars with the grill and the bumper. Uh, and then there's the fog lights and there's a lot of pieces that go to it. It's a lot of money for it right now But if I was so uh, if I uh, wasn't keeping the car then I would probably get that bumper But right now it really doesn't matter uh, So I would like to mention we did get new shelves uh, for more organization And it does help a lot with organizing we we fit a lot of stuff on there now and there's nothing on the floor just the uh, some stuff there that uh we're currently using and then the trim pieces and then like we got parts there parts parts down there car car battery uh dartboard yeah uh and then we got more parts up there which were scattered all through over there which is nice we got all of our keys organized we got the bmwq over there um yeah and then we finally found a spot for the hotel it was just on the ground and i honestly didn't like it being on the ground because like how much these things actually cost but we got a spot for it right now uh these don't worry these boxes are light and this is a pretty rugged box too anyway so it's not going to get damaged in there um and we got all of our tools right here i organized all the sockets um and the tool rack and i organized all these wrenches so it should be nice and fun and easy to work on this car today so i found all the screws that i needed they happen to be inside the car still uh i found all of them but one which, since I found all of them in there, I know it's in there somewhere. So I just have to keep looking. I could have rolled onto the bottom of the seat or something. So I got to look everywhere. But I decided that I'm going to bring it in the garage now and look in the car in here. Because now I know it's in there. So I'm going to put this one right here. And hopefully it doesn't get lost as it starts rolling away already. Uh, so I'm just going to bring the car in right now. Uh, move the Sonata out of the way. And uh, yeah, let's just get this thing done guys so i got it in the shop so here are the things that we're going to be fixing on it for the final time this headlight is crooked so we're going to line it up with its holes inside and we're gonna fasten it down make that straight then on the interior uh right here go right there is a little module see the disconnected wire there's a module for the AC, so we're gonna be replacing that. We're gonna be putting in the rebuilt seat belt, and then we're gonna be putting in all the trim panels and stuff, and then we're gonna also be giving it a nice clean on the inside and outside. First thing we're installing is the AC unit. So we need this. So now I connect these with this eight millimeter. I put it in the trusty dusty Milwaukee. Ooh. On the first setting, because this is plastic on metal, tighten too much, they'll so crack and you don't want to crack it because then the bolt will keep spinning. And then I'm pretty sure that piece is pretty expensive to replace too. Uh, and then here's our new module. The old one is uh, over there somewhere, but the you can't tell really much from the outside. I opened it up to find out that the little gear that spins the big gear, uh, that was a uh, strip like halfway, like half of it, the gear was just gone. So anyways, we're going to try to line this up because I don't know why they have like that is like this is super hard to turn anyways and inside the car also. So I'm going to figure out a way to get this on there. So here's something crazy. Here's something crazy that I have to show you guys. So this is original. This is the one I bought brand new. So what happened here is that so basically the people built this this one right here. They put the stem on the wrong side. Don't even know how that happens at factory, but it did. Cause if I put it like this, then you see that these uh like this. If I put it like this, 
the holes don't really line up on this side, nor does the stem. So, but if you are to flip it over and put it on top of it upside down, everything lines up. Even the stems line up, meaning we're going to open this one up and put the stem on the other side, and then this will fit. So, uh, my brother, aka my, also my assistant, he's gonna be hi buddies. He's gonna be doing that right now while I put in the seatbelt. So let's do the seatbelt now. Okay, so that's what the inside of the motor looks like. He's just gonna flip it back. That gear wouldn't have even been able to spin, would it? Nope. Yeah, because it was upside down. It has like some anti-reversal latch on it. Fixed it? Fixed it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Gotta make sure all these clips are and properly that's in nice and good it's not going anywhere so next up i guess we just there we go make sure it's secured in from all angles perfect all right so got the panels we just we're gonna snap it. Put our drill to three, not four. We're gonna put it to three first, see what happens. Three is enough. Uh, okay, so we got our belt nice and locked in. Next, we're gonna pop in that trim panel and put the gasket back on. Got the gasket on, got the seat belt on, got the trim piece on. So we're done over here. Um, next we're just gonna put the seatbelt on, put all the trim in there, and then we're done and we can move on to detail. But after we test everything out. But before we work on the seatbelt... Disconnect the battery. Cause the seatbelt is an airbag. It's still an airbag. So it blows when it goes off. So here's the airbag connector or the seat belt so it's an airbag so disconnect the battery before you work on any airbag component doesn't matter what it is impact sensor actual airbags seat belt stuff like that it doesn't matter what it is you have to disconnect the battery because it or else it could short something and all the airbags could blow up in your face you don't know what could happen when something shorts battery's disconnected now we can start working on the seat belt there's that zip tie right there to keep the belt from locking in boom i'll connect it up so now we're just going to cut the zip tie and this belt should be able to retract itself back into its original spot. Boom. Nice belt, nice and done. So I did mess up on one thing. I did just remember that the trim panel goes under this one, but I'll just fix that off camera. I got the pan I got the seatbelt going through the panel. It honestly only took like less than a minute to fix this issue. I finally got this seatbelt in. Uh, it was a lot of repetitive work. I just I, I instead I had to put this panel on before this one, and then I forgot to put the belt through the loop. It was a lot of work. Finally got it on. Now we're just gonna pop this cap in and that cap in. Done. So now we reconnect the battery and we can finish detailing this interior and we'll wash the exterior. Reason I want to wash the exterior is because these tires, I want to, I want these, these uh, white letters, I want them to show. So, and I want to fix the blooming. So anyways, uh, I'm going to disconnect, I'm going to reconnect the battery and let's clean this interior. Now it's the time we've all been waiting for. Let's see if that AC works. I can't wait. I really hope this works. Let's see if the air, that airbag light turns off now. The airbag light is off. That's amazing. Now I can put my seatbelt on. Let's go. 
We got a clean dashboard, no lights whatsoever. This car's back to brand new condition. Oh, that's such a great day. And I didn't even have to bring out the scanner to uh, clear it. It just did it itself. That's so, that's so cool. Okay, anyways. So we're gonna turn on this. We're gonna turn off the front one. Or, hold on. Temp cool. Okay, let's go back there and see if that works. They're working! Let's go! Guys, I'm actually so happy. This, I had just in my head, but guys, I'm actually so happy about this. Like, every, this car is fully functional now. Those are the fans kicking in. But this car is fully functional now, and the all the AC vents work now, the airbag light is off. This car's like brand new condition again, and from the start, you guys saw how it was. This thing was smashed to pieces. The whole frame was shifted over. Everything was crumbled on the inside. We rebuilt everything in there. Even some engine stuff, some uh, hoses that go in there all the way down to the turbos. Like, replaced some really big things. And this thing runs like like, like it has never even been an accident. Like, this is so amazing how it works. Uh, but this is honestly probably going to be the last time, this is probably going to be the last video on this vehicle since as we see right now, there's nothing else left to fix on it. Maybe like minor things here and there. Uh, if we ever do get that front bumper, if it does drop in price, because 1500 for a bumper of a car that you really already have a bumper for, it just doesn't seem like, uh, let's vacuum this interior and uh, give it a wash. Right guys. So we got the interior nice and clean. Like a brand new car, once again. All right guys, so there's the finished product right here. So that's pretty shiny right there. Coming into the interior. super clean and let's just get a look at that cluster once more I'm gonna strap in my seat belt so that light, seat belt light turns off and all lights go bye bye and yeah watch this boom Right there, you have a clean odometer. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, this is probably going to be the last time we're going to see this expedition on the channel. It'll definitely still be around. This is a keeper. Uh, but, yeah, it's the last time we're going to see it on the channel, probably. Most likely, like, working on it. You'll probably see it in the background or maybe, you know, a little thing here and there. But we're done with all the big repairs or, like, full videos dedicated to it. I, I don't think there'll be any more of those. Uh, but that's it for today's video. And I thank you guys so much for watching. In the next video, we are going to be rebuilding the Colorado. That's right. It's We got the paint, and it's going to be painted, and it's going to be put together. So that's it. So stay tuned for that video. The Colorado will be done. Then we'll take it to the alignment rack. And, uh, yeah, then uh, that one will be done, too. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.